Uh, morning breakfast is pretty much a repeat of yesterday. Uh, I've got my protein shake for just after the gym. I'm having a black coffee as we've run out of milk. Uh, one banana before and one banana after. Uh, that's a vitamin C juice, a uh, multivitamin, a green tea and a CLE. Uh, all of that is a cloudy, pretty pump day. We're just going to get into me and get to the gym as soon as possible because it's already 7 o'clock. Okay, so this is my killer 10 set workout, 10 exercise workout. 10 different exercises, pretty much every single one is working your whole body. It takes roughly about 17 to 20 minutes and it starts off with a two minute row. Try and keep your rest period in between in between work exercises to around about 30 seconds, maximum 45 seconds. Okay, so that was a good morning workout there. Uh, I did two sets of my killer 10 exercise workout there. Um, I'll put a video up of what the 10 or the killer 10 exercise work morning workout is um, because it's a good one. It works the whole body. It takes about 20 minutes to get through it all. It's a mixture of cardio, explosive plyometric exercises and also then just pure strength exercises as well. Um, all kind of just using kind of body weight and kettlebells and skipping ropes and rowing machines. Um, again, it's probably quite difficult to do that if you don't have an awesome gym like the one I go to. The one I go to is the Edinburgh University gym and uh, it's just so good. And at seven in the morning or half seven in the morning by the time I'm actually doing it, there's still nobody around. It's a really nice and quiet place to do it to just get busy and doing some exercise. You don't have to wait for any machines. Um, it's a horrible, horrible cloudy Ming Mong day today, so uh, Kim's not wanting to go to the gym after work. I was kind of wanting to go and do what, what's on the program. Program. I said about doing legs tonight, but uh, I might just pass on that. I think I'll just after this uh, boots meal deal and then an early dinner tonight and then I'm going to do a 16 18 hour fast for tomorrow when I'll do a, a low intensity gym session in the morning. So this gym session this morning was high intensity, uh, very hardcore and then tomorrow I'll be a low intensity just kind of walking on the cross trainer for a wee while. Oh, just, uh, just went past the McDonald's there and had a little bit of a craving for kind of anything, kind of like, oh, a double cheeseburger, mmm, quarter pounder and a Big Mac, mmm. But then, I, I then also just realised I haven't had a McDonald's or even a Subway since starting doing this these blogs, so that's, what's this, day 17, 18, whatever. Um, so that's at least two weeks of not, no McDonald's and no, uh, no Subways. Subways I consider to be less bad than McDonald's, uh, just because of the less amount of fat. However, it does have a pile of sugar in its bread. But then, as I was driving past the McDonald's there, I was like, that, I really want some, but then I was saying, wait a minute, no. Shut up, take some time, get yourself some nice food, or some slightly healthier food, just not greasy, fried, anything. And also, imagine your, imagine your body is like a car. Which, if you had a car, uh, would you see a big pile of dog shit on the road and go, right, I'm going to drive through that? Because that is how you should probably look at having a McDonald's. There, you really have to take away the idea of, oh, it's a treat, or, oh, just this once. It's like, no, you drive through some dog shit, your car's going to stink of dog shit for the rest of the day, if not longer. Why do it? why not go and put it through a car wash and make your car nice and clean, i.e. go and get yourself a nicer bit of food or a nicer bit of healthiness. So, 
note to future self Dom, whenever future Dom is fat and 30 stone, remember that at this time in my life, I resemble, or I, I imagine McDonald's to be the equivalent of a giant pile of dog shit on the road, or the equivalent of a giant dog shit on the road for my car to drive through as it would be for my body to eat. Uh, double cheeseburger but oh that does sound good but no just get something healthy in me you know eat my second banana that's what I need that's a car wash McDonald's is a dog shit that's how you should think about it oh my god I think I just did the most difficult thing in the whole wide world there I'm a big fan of sausage rolls and chocolate donuts and again I noticed I haven't had any chocolate rolls or sausage donuts uh, in the last since I've been doing this blogging but I needed to get some milk because I made some coffee and I'm just fed up of black coffee just now so this is black with a little bit of sweetener I thought I just want to get some milk in it just so I can actually enjoy it while I'm driving around town so I went in to Greg's Greg's the Baker's the sausage roll chocolate donut yummy factory um, and uh, <laughs> there's somebody in front of me so I was there for a good 30 seconds just staring at triple chocolate filled donuts ah oh, ah oh, so good oh, the memories the memories got to remember driving car through dog shit not doing that so anyway got myself some pasture milk having it in my coffee and just gonna get through the coffee and forget forget about that place forget about it it doesn't exist it's not important but anyway back to more healthy stuff that's also the first time I've had uh, just normal skimmed milk in my coffee for a good wee while and I'm like, oh wow, this coffee tastes so good. I've normally have had like fully skimmed. Well, like that. I've, so I've put in semi-skimmed and I normally have fully skimmed milk in my coffee and uh, uh, oh, it's just it's like so creamy just now and so yum, so, so good. But I know skimmed milk is definitely better for you, less fat, I think or like half the calories, um, but maybe what well, I'm gonna think of my treat is semi-skimmed milk instead of fully skimmed. That's a treat. Not a McDonald's, not a chocolate donut. No, 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 no. Okay, just got home there at seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, not so sunny, so not going outside and getting sunburnt or anything now. Um, Kim is cooking some fish, some roast vegetables, and some potato wedges, which I'll cover in ketchup. So that's my dinner tonight, and then, uh, tomorrow I'm doing a little bit of a fast, like a mini fast, an intermittent fast. So I'm not having breakfast or lunch, and then going to the gym and having a big session, Then and then I'll go stuff my face afterwards. Um, so this is my last meal of the day. I'm going to try and make it a substantial one and as healthy as possible. Uh, and always just, always think, is it cashew nuts in anything? Definitely makes it more healthy. Um, for lunch today I had a panini with chorizo, 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 uh, pesto and some ketchup on it uh, and I had a mocha which I think had sugar and milk in it but, oh, but tasted so good and I had one of those little sesame sesame seed bars um, so I think that probably in total came out to around about 700 calories I had my two bananas, more coffee, quite a lot of milk today so I've probably definitely got to my daily recommended amount of calories that I'm meant to have but I'm just absolutely shattered it's uh, I've been having late nights kind of go to bed always at kind of about 11 o'clock really want to be in bed by 10 o'clock and falling asleep at 10 past 10 is what I want I'm absolutely shattered today so I think I'll be able to get to sleep pretty darn quick and early tonight which will help the fasting start nice and soon first part of the dinner has to be lots lots of hummus and raw carrots, because that's definitely healthy, nutritionally good. Oh, and after the carrots, the other one is, what are these kind? Green beans. Green beans. Sugar snap. And lots of hummus. Sugar snap green beans, which are slightly out of date. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. carrot is much better. So this is what dinner's looking like. It's some fish, 
with some roasted vegetables and some potato wedges and a little bit of uh, parmesan cheese on the fish. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to make it a little bit better. And there. Good.